Hello folks, uh, this is 2020 February March session paper 42 and the question number is 6. And this question belongs to the chapter uh, electric field. It says two positive charged identical metal spheres. So lots of adjectives. Two positively charged identical metal spheres A and B. Sphere A, sphere B. Uh, have their centers uh, severed by a distance of uh, 24 centimeter. So distance between the centers is 24 centimeter as shown in figure 6.1, not to scale. The variation with the distance x from the uh, center of A of the electric field strength E due to the two spheres is uh, somewhat like this. So what I can say is, uh, so from, from here to here it is 0, that means it should be inside the sphere. It rises to a certain value drastically, which is 8 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. So it should be at the surface of this sphere. It goes on decreasing, decreasing. Somewhere it is a zero because of the action of electric field due to both of them. Uh, here it is a, a max for this negative maximum. So it should be its surface, and then again it should be inside the sphere. So state the radius of the two spheres. So that means inside a inside a charged metal sphere, the the, uh, the electric field is always zero. So that's why zero zero means uh, this region should be inside the sphere, this should be outside the sphere. So that's why the radius should be this much. Here also it is the same. So radius is uh, 2 centimeter or uh, 24 minus 22, it is equal to 2 centimeter. So it is 2 centimeter. Uh, so it should be actually 2.0 because the least count of this thing is uh, this reads 2, uh, this reads 2.2. So that means 2.2, so that means I must use 2.0, so it should be 2.0 centimeter. So 0.2 is the least count of the device, that's why I am using 2.0, <coughs> one place after decimal. Then, <coughs> the charge on sphere A is uh, 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 9, so it is uh, uh, QA, let us say. Determine the charge QB on sphere B, so by using this graph, we have to find the value of charge in QB. Assume that spheres A and B can be treated as point charges at their centers. It's been working. So what happens here is, at this point, at this point, the combined electric field due to both is zero. That means E, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the combined electric field is zero. So that means that that here, what we should have is, what we should have is, uh, E due to A, E due to A plus E due to B should be equal to zero there. But the going through the nature of this whole thing, what we, we can say is the direction of electric field due to B should be opposite to that of E. So I can I should have I should have to be equal to minus E B is equal to zero. Going through the nature here, it's negative here, negative. So E electric field is a vector quantity. So we have to consider the direction. So that's why E B should be negative compared to E A or vice versa. So that's why I did this equal to this. Or it gives us E A is equal to E B. So E A here is equal to at this point the value of E A should be equal to uh, Q A divided 4 pi epsilon naught into the distance from the center which is equal to equal to equal to 16 centimeter. So it is 0 0.16 and squared equal to Q B divided 4 pi epsilon naught then the distance here is so from here to here the distance is 24 minus 16 is 8 8 centimeter so it's equal to 0 0.08 then squared so this is the equation for this uh, <coughs> electric field so this and this goes so therefore qb should be equal to the value of qe is 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 into this goes here 0 0.08 squared divided it is 0 0.16 squared so this is uh, uh, this this uh, 2 2 squared so it is 4 this value of 4 is equal to should be equal to uh, 0 0.49 so 0 0.9 into 10 to the power minus 10 so it's equal to 9.0 into 10 to power sorry this is 9 into 10 to the power minus 10 then coulomb so 9 by 0 into 10 to the power minus 10, then coulomb. Now sphere B is removed. Sphere B is removed, so that means it's not there, only this is there. So we have to find, use information from B to determine the electric potential on the surface of sphere A. So 
we have to find the VA here at the very surface. So it is VA. So VA should be equal to VA is equal to QA by 4 pi epsilon naught RA. That should be equal to uh, QA is 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb divided 4 pi into 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 into RA is uh, 2 centimeter which we, we said previously this is uh, just 2 centimeter here 2 centimeter here so it is 0 0.020 so uh, when you do the calculation it should be equal to uh, so 3.6 exponent minus 19 divided 4 into shift your pi into 8.85 exponent to minus 12 into 0 0.02 bracket close equal to so this is equal to 1.61 into 10 over so I made a mistake here because it is not 19 it is just 9 so I must do it like uh, into 1 exponent 10 so this is 1618.52 so it is 1619 let me say 1 9 volt so if I use uh, 2 SF it is 1600 if I use 3 SF so I can use 3 SF also uh, if not said anything I use default as uh, default 3 SF so it's a 1620 volt so 1620 volt calculate the capacitance of uh, uh, sphere A so the capacitance is equal to we can do in two ways either charge by voltage or we can use uh, 4 pi epsilon naught into R so anyway it works so QA by VA at the surface that's equal to QA is 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 and this VA is 1619 so equal to equal to <coughs> so if I reverse it divide it 3.6 exponent to minus 9 equal to and uh, this so it becomes it becomes it becomes uh, 2.22 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad so it is 2.22 into 10 to the power minus 12 farad and this becomes pico farad actually <coughs> so nano after nano it is pico it becomes 2.22 pico farad but we need to express it in farad only so this is the complete answer